about that a little bit more about mm -hmm. analyzing the situation before you speak. Right. So that takes a lot of experience. And the, one of the biggest things that it takes is confidence in yourself. Ah. So that's it's all like your mindset. So again, people think that you can just practice, 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 which yeah. I always encourage that you do want to practice. But it's practicing what? What are you practicing? Huh. So it could be I need to nail my 30 second elevator pitch, like if you're in a networking meeting hmm. or if you're at the chamber and you're going to an event and 50 people say, so, Sean, what is it that you do? Hmm. You want to have a good pitch that will pique their interest, okay. not bore them, and not think it's a canned pitch. But again, if you're talking to Sally, and she's an insurance agent, and you're talking to Joe, and he's a, a fellow startup, hopefully yeah. you'd be saying two different things, because their, ex their experience and their understanding level is different. So mm -hmm. again, if you know who you're talking to, you can tailor your pitch. So say it's a room of strangers. Uh -huh. Would you ask them questions first before going into your pitch? Or how would you kind of analyze who you're talking to if they're all strangers? Right. Before, you, before speaking to them. Well, it's helpful if they have a name tag and you can kind of sort of see what they do. Okay. But a lot of times people's names of their business don't give you much guidance on uh. what they do. So if someone says, so Sean, what do you do? Then you oh, could- Silicon Valley success. Yeah, you could have Silicon Valley success. So I'm going, oh, well, what, is, what does that, tell me more about that. Mm -hmm. So like in 10 or 15 seconds, you can tell me a little bit. Oh, that's really great because this is what I do. Hmm. And that that's how a really good conversation starts at a networking event. Okay. So it's not just your canned 30 seconds because people's attention span is seven seconds. Oh, so interesting. if you go into 30 seconds, they're going to go, what a dunderhead, right? I'm tired of listening to this guy already and it's only been 20 seconds. Yeah. So people's attention spans is 20 seconds, I mean uh, seven seconds, huh. which is why a standard elevator pitch of 30 seconds is often too long. Interesting. So do you practice a short 10 second pitch with So them? I teach people how to say what you do in 10 words or less. So ah. people freak out going 10 words, I can never say what I do in 10 words. But it's actually very easy mm. once you get to what is the compelling thing about what is it that you have to say. Okay. And again, the, the other trick is you don't want just one. Again, you want several of them depending on who you're talking to. And the beautiful mm. thing is once you get the great 10 word statement, mm. that's seven seconds if you're talking in a normal pace. So that's somebody's attention span.